Hello everyone for the second build on last epoch, especially for the multiplayer update. This is my Rock Blade Dancer build. It's a very powerful one because you have a ton of damage and very good system. If it's not done already, don't forget to follow the channel just by clicking here. So this build is around flurry, we'll just have one DPS spell and we'll use the dash combine with shuriken which increase your armor and decrease enemies armor. Then we have the decoy, it's very useful against bosses because it will also decrease their armor and the smoke bomb which will increase your life leash and dodge rate so also very good to have it against bosses. For the stats you'll be looking at melee attack speed, it's important to have it, and critical strike chance, especially on flurry, that's why on the stats sheet you don't have much global critical chance because you have plenty of critical chance on flurry, you'll see that in the gameplay you mostly only crit. Third one, critical chance multiplier in order to increase your overall damage. For the basic passive, you want to have attack speed just here. Here we have some dexterity and heals, dodge rating, with this one also granting a chance to dodge for the glancing blow and increase damage when you have two weapons. For the blade dancer, we want additional melee damage here and then we'll take a chance to reduce the incoming damage, chance to create a dusk shroud when you are hit and here we'll have the increased melee attack speed with additional chance to create a dusk shroud. Increase damage when you have two weapons and increase damage at full heals. We then get the stack when you hit an enemy, it will increase your damage but also armor and especially dodge rating. Then additional damage when you are at full heals. We also want this one which will increase your critical strike multiplier. Lastly 5 points to increase the armor shredding effect. For the first skill shift we want the shuriken just here and the additional dodge chance, the buff duration here and the fact that you'll use a potion if you are under 50% of life when you dash. The last one which is very important, you'll be able to one shot the boss once they have less than 50% of their life, you'll see that in the gameplay part on the monolith. For Flurry, we want just a bit of mana here, the increased damage, the wave just here, the increased damage for the third strike here, and some damage here and here. For the Smoke Bong, we want the dodge, the rages just here, and the dusk shroud here. At the bottom of it, we'll have additional damage, but also the melee leash. For the decoy, there are two things which are very interesting. The first one is the armor shredding, you have it here and just here. And the second one is the additional decoy that you have here. Lastly, for the shuriken, there is two things that will be interesting. The first one, it will increase your armor just here, and here it will decrease your enemy's resistances. You'll also take the duration of your shurikens and the piercing chain. For the gear from the gameplay, you'll want physical damage, chance to crit, attack speed, armor shredding, a bit of dexterity, resistances, and life. Of course, keep in mind that you should always prioritize chance to crit on flurry instead of global chance to crit in order to simply have better chance to crit values. You'll have two types of gameplay, the first one is a monolith level 100 against a boss and the second one, the arena, just make sure that when you don't have the smoke bomb to dodge projectiles because they can hurt a lot.
if you're looking for a very powerful build with good sustain and good mobility, make sure to check out this Rogue Blade Dancer build. As usual, if you have any questions, feel free to post in the comments.